um, like Chris Pike. Um, th there's reasons for what, what happened tonight. When you, you you were without three guys that were starting for you two or three weeks ago, you played less than 48 hours earlier, but I, I still assume you didn't expect that sort of a blowout. No, no, I really didn't. It was, uh, you know, Illawarra played really well, played hard, played the right way. Um, Harvey got him going in that first half, and then in the second half, they defended well and ran over the top of us. So uh, frustrating um, for everybody. Where do you think it went wrong? I mean, all you can do with this group, with the challenges you've had, is ask them to go out and compete. But, you know, from your point of view, where did it go wrong, especially the, the last three quarters? Yeah, I think in that second quarter, when we lost Harvey a couple times, um, he got on a run. I didn't call a timeout at that time. Um, they got going, they got feeling good and, and got a sniff and then they rolled. Um, once they started going, it was a struggle for us to score. Um, ball didn't move as well as we needed to move and, uh, and they kept scoring. So uh, I think that was the beginning of it and sometimes momentum, um, you know, Momentum continues to go, and they had the momentum at that time. There were enough good signs from Abdul to suggest that he's going to be a more than handy addition for you, but you also didn't envision that he would have to be replacing Will, Craig, and Creaky all at the same time. Yeah, you know, really happy for him to play basketball uh, again with a whistle and, uh, you know, a scoreboard and fans. Um, the fans were amazing tonight. He would have uh, he would have been pretty juiced just to be there, and uh, so happy for him. Uh, he's going to be a really good basketball player for us. He, he looks like at this level in the NBL, he can be a great athlete and help you push the pace at his size. Did you did you like the signs that you saw tonight? <laughs> well, I didn't think he played, uh, and I'm sure he would tell you himself. I don't think he played great, but I. I love the enthusiasm and the he's a great talker within the group so far from what I've seen. Um, so after one day of, of kind of a little bit of training, um, you know, just great to have him out there. And, uh, and yeah, he's going to be really good. So I like the signs. Al, how are you feeling after what's been a pretty, pretty hectic couple of weeks for, for, for your group? Uh, frustrated, you know. I think there's there's definitely frustration. Uh, personally, I'm sure it's going throughout the group. Uh, the last two games aren't who we want to be, and I uh, just don't think we we put the best effort that we could possibly put out there. And so, obviously, there's some stuff that we got to really work on, and some 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 looking in the mirror that we really got to do in order to try to turn this thing around. And um, we got some games coming up now, and some opportunities to. Like I said, to try to right the ship, and so I'm definitely frustrated though. Just a last one from me. It's I'm sure it's frustrating for you right now that you keep finding yourself in in foul trouble, and I guess we don't need to get into in a discussion if the fouls are there or not. But how tough is it for you right now just to try to not let that frustrate you? I mean, it's impossible. I want to play, you know, and just. As I've said it before, as I've said it in every media outlet that I can possibly say it, I just got to find a way not to foul, I guess. And so, I, a loss for words for sure about it because there is definitely a frustration there about the fouls that are that are being called against me. And again, it's something that I need to work on and try to find ways to not put myself in those positions. Uh, whether they're fouls or not is not up for me to decide. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, this just very frustrating because I want to be able to be out there and play 30, 35 minutes um, and be effective for my team. Mike, um, I know you won't blame tonight on Creaky not being there, but can you just give us an idea how much you, do you miss him tonight, particularly on the scoring end? Yeah, I mean, he's, we miss him a lot. Um, and I think any, any big, big piece for us we're gonna we're gonna miss but for me coming into it I was actually um, not excited that he wasn't here but excited that it was opportunity for other guys to to do things um, just like in Sydney when we were missing you know three guys Will and Craig and Ruben was missing and uh, and guys stepped up and that was what I was 
hoping for. We weren't able to get it done tonight. But um, yeah, we, we miss him a lot because he's, he's just um, great energy and a, and a big part of this team. So uh, hopefully we'll have him back soon. Do you know when that might be, sort of specifically? How many more games you might have to be without him? No. Lance, you want to jump in, mate? Hi, Phil. I was, uh, sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting for the Zoom. Um, can you just give us a bit of a diagnosis, Mike, uh, in terms of, um, you know, Creaky and just the update with his, uh, with his injury? Yeah, I don't really have a, a timeline um, or anything official medically. Um, so I'm hoping to, to get something exact over the next day or two. Are you going to appreciate the uh, extra um, days, I suppose, now between now and Cairns to uh, really adjust uh, what you need to do uh, you know, the next five days? For sure. Uh, we were excited to actually get a second game after um, losing to Melbourne United. And, uh, and then we came in and, and uh, didn't play to expectations, uh, definitely our expectations. And uh, so, yeah, we need, to, we need to look at it and uh, examine it. And we've already talked about it a little bit as a group, but uh, we have to get better and be better. There were some uh, positive periods during the game. You, know, you, you stretched your lead out to uh, seven at one point, um, but you fell away. Did you fall away because of uh, tiredness or was there just, um, I suppose, did you run out of bodies late, late in the game and hence why it blew out? Well, I don't think it was necessarily that. They built, they built that lead um, kind of on the back of a big run and uh, and I think at that time, it was still middle of the second quarter, and we had been solid up until that point. So I don't think it was just being tired. I think it was a lot more to it uh, on both ends of the floor. And then they were able to, you know, just keep that momentum going. Thanks, Mark. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.